Hello. Hi. What's up? How are you doing? Welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic Adventure DX. How's that looking out for you? Uh, I don't know. Pretty so bad. I had some here. weird people coming in. Some broken Game um, Boys douche. So JT Toddy. Yeah. Like a... And a chakram flying in. Yeah, he was pretty bad. Okay, enough with the crap. On Game Boy Hero, my two guests. The Troik's here. And Chakram once again. We're finally doing big. Hooray. Sega Bass Fishing is close enough. I guess so. Sega Bass yeah. Fishing should have starred Big the, Big the Cat. I wouldn't be surprised if he was supposed to be the main star to begin with. Anyway, anyway, this is Big. Yeah, this is Big the Cat. As you can see, he's a slow ass for obvious reasons. He doesn't attack, he can probably jump. Eggman! Eggman! And, well, he can't do much aside from, well, fish. And that's all he needs to do. Yes. Also, he can't go into the hotel. At least not yet. But he's a big guy. He just wants to walk around, chill, and look for his best friend. That's so much to ask. Not really, no. I mean, in the land of Sonic Earth, there's not much you can do anyway. Imagine if he lost his fishing rod. What would happen if Big lost his fishing rod? What would he do? He probably has spare just lying around. Good point. I mean, he looks like the kind of guy who would be prepared. Well, his fishing rod is pretty damn indestructible. Yeah. Can blow up robots. And not just a fishing rod either, the lower can do some pretty good damage too. Right. As we'll see later. Yes, and goddamn, he is a big fat cat. 
can't fit through that door. He is pretty strong. Yes, as we can see, he is, like I said, pretty determined. Can you throw that car? No, when you grab it, he just, like, the game takes over. Huh. And no, it's a shame. That is a shame, actually. Could have made a whole, like, gimmick out of that. He actually said, oh, I don't believe it. Yeah, I, I noticed. His, 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 uh, is that like his dying, one of his dying, like, I don't know, voice clips or what? No, I have no idea. I haven't died with him besides that one moment. Ah. Uh, won't let him in a twinkle circuit. Damn shame. Can't drive with Big. You can find a way. You can sure as hell try. Okay, where to begin? For one, you can't really die by normal means. Okay, you can with the rings and all, but... But you have to be actively trying to die like that. Yes. You have no time limit, so you can take your time. But then again... He can drown, right? He can drown. I know cats are good at that. Yes, they are. As we see in the Sonic Rush 2. <laughs> But yeah, his whole gameplay game revolves around fishing. Yeah, for the moment, for the story purposes, you're just supposed to catch frog. Even during the trials, though, you had to catch bigger fish. So as right now, with the way we are, we can't really do shit about it. No. But Froggy's yeah. the only one that really counts. Yes, you just want to catch Froggy. You can pretty much ignore everything else. God damn, is he flat? Who? Who's flat? He was squished for a second there. Ah. Uh. Could have been just the water. Probably. But yeah, you cast the you lower with the B button, and you reel in with the X one. You go slowly, you press A to go faster, or if you're like me and get stuck sometimes, you want to press R and L to, like, go back to the big. Simple enough. Very simple. Although, if you're playing for the first time, you don't even know what the hell you're doing, catching the, catching the big frog can be a bit of a problem. As is shown here. Yeah, you can move the joystick around to move the lower in certain directions, although it's kind of finicky as to, as to where you want to take it. Yeah. I don't know, I thought this was pretty easy the first time I played it. Yeah, I don't know, trying to make it go left and right was just a pain, but catching, fro fr uh, catching Froggy by itself wasn't too much of a problem. Oh, hey, a fish. It must have been all those hours of Ocarina of Time I played fishing. Well, you had that. I didn't bother with the Ocarina of Time fishing. Personally, I don't remember much about this except the levels. And, but I never really found them, like, difficult. Like, I don't know, I was never angry at them or anything. I just kind of did it, and I'm like, well, I'm done with that, I guess. And sure. However, a, a really little young kid would say that. I don't even know how old I was. Hmm. I, I, I felt the same way. Oh, yeah, fish again. Oh, fucker. There's, a, there's actually a gimmick to catching the fish when they when you grab onto the lore, but I didn't learn that to the next level. So this fish, it doesn't matter if you catch him or not, right? No, he just adds to the uh, the grams. Right. And the grams don't mean anything for now. They add to your score at the end of the level. Oh. Okay. Oh, they do? Yeah, they do. I got it. Wow, for a big fish, he's sure weighs a lot. Yeah, that's how you uh. Isn't that how you get the, uh, the emblems? Yeah, for the trials, you have to get, like, catch a big-ass fish and then catch Froggy. Fishing. And after Jug comes from Tonic the Comic, we're back you back to Froggy and Big. Hooray. Holy shit, we got, we got him. Get him, get him, get him. You yes. got him. Don't worry, we didn't say much. Actually, yeah, we did. We talked about crazy supersonic. We we talked a lot, but we didn't actually say anything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. If it helps, it's not gonna be this long for these levels. Trust me. Good. I I learned my lessons. <laughs> Welcome to Twinkle Park. Now you're done. You're done for this video. 
We'll see you for Ice Cap. This is Game Boy Hero, my two guests, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye bye.